In this video, I'm going to show you how the Casio FX991ES model can be used to check um, your equation of tangents and equation of normal questions. Um, obviously, you need to know how to do this yourself, and here I've quickly done um, a, typical, uh, a typical question where it says find the equation of the tangent to the curve y equals x squared at the point 525. So, typically, what you would do is differentiate it to get dy by dx is equal to 2x. Substitute in the x value to get the gradient of the curve is equal to 10. Therefore, the gradient of the tangent would also be equal to 10. If it was a normal, remember to do the negative reciprocal. And then put in your x value of 5 and your y value of 25 and work out your c, which in this case, if you put 25 in for y, you get 25 equals. And if you put 5 in for x, you get 50 plus c. And then we've got c is equal to minus 25 and you get the equation of the tangent. Now, on this calculator, um, the, the fantastic Casio FX991 model, um, in yellow here you've got d over dx and then a yellow rectangle. The calculator will differentiate and substitute in an x value for you. So whenever you've got your y equals x squared, it won't tell you the differential is equal to 2x, but what it will do is differentiate it and put in the 5 to give you the, the gradients 10. That can be very useful to check it, particularly if you've got quite a complex equation. So what we're going to do is we're going to press shift and then the button which um, the button below the yellow d over dx uh, yellow rectangle button and you can see here it's got d over dx that means it's going to differentiate and then what we're going to do is we're going to type in the function so the thing we're typing in is x squared so we're going to type in x squared now the x is the red x above the closed brackets so you need to press the alpha button and then the closed brackets and you've got your x and then squared just press the squared button um, if it was x cubed, you would put in the cube. You could press the cube button. If it had a different power, you could press the power button, and so on. So we've typed in the um, function we need to differentiate it, and it says x equals. And now we want to put in five. If we put five in there and press equals, it will differentiate it and put five in. And it's told us that the gradient of the curve at that particular point is equal to ten. That's very useful, particularly if you want to find the equation of the tangent. It will give you the gradient of the tangent because that's the same as the curve. Just be careful if you're finding the equation of the normal, you will need to do the negative reciprocal of 10, you know, which would be minus a tenth, and then you could then put it into the y equals mx plus c. Just very useful if you want to check your answers.